All right, you've ordered your cleanup crew. It's arrived safely. Now what? Well, you want to acclimate them to your system, and here's some tips to make your acclimation easy and to increase the longevity of your cleanup crew. First, dim the lights in the room where you're going to acclimate your cleanup crew. That may involve closing down a blind, and if you can't dim the lights, you may need to completely turn them off. You want to see what you're doing, but you don't want to light shock the inhabitants in your cleanup crew box. Unpack your cleanup crew and find the enclosed acclimation guide. Read it because it's important and it's how we recommend our cleanup crew members get acclimated. Then float the unopened bags in your sumper tank. Make sure you don't overflow your sumper tank, so keep an eye out for that. Let the bags float unopened for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I sort the cleanup crew members into different buckets so I can introduce them into my tank by groups. Note that if you only have one type of cleanup crew member, you can skip this step. I then remove the cleanup crew members and place them in my tank, leaving the shipping water behind. Shrimp I remove with a net as they're hard to catch. Everything else can be removed with wet hands. Once the cleanup crew members are in your tank, place the snails far away from the hermit crabs. Snails can take several hours to emerge, and you don't want them to be a quick snack for those hermit crabs. Also, place snails on rocks or near the sides of your tank. Some snails can't flip themselves over, so turn over any snails that have landed upside down. Our snails are all larger in size, so they're easy to see if they need turning over, and they're also easy to handle. Cleanup crew members don't last forever, so don't be surprised after six, eight months of putting them in your tank, you look around and go, ah, I feel like my cleanup crews are getting a little thin. At that point, it's time for a refresh to add in new cleanup crew members, because look, they fall off in time, that's part of the cycle of life. But do use cleanup crews, because they're a valuable part of making your tank look clean. Nothing else is going to run around your tank 24-7, get in the nooks and crannies, and help it look great. And yes, I'm including crabs because, again, I'm not afraid of crabs in a reef tank. I'm Mark Cowan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Till next time, enjoy your tanks. Happy creepy crawling cleanup crewing, and I'll catch you in the next episode. <laughs>